Whether you go to college or work in a business, if you work with documents, you will have to create some papers that require you to put in citations for the source where certain information was found. In college, you would do this when writing research papers. In high school, you would use it for writing term papers. In business, you would do this whenever you're creating any kind of a report that is going to be citing sources of information that need to be placed in the report. Now to do this in Microsoft Word, there's a great tool on the ribbon called References. You select References and then right here in the middle of the ribbon under Citations and Bibliography, you'll see a collection of tools. The first one that you'll begin with is called Manage Sources. This is where you will insert or create new sources of information. Now, in my copy of Word, I have many different sources that are already placed in here. And on the left side, you see these under a list called Master List. You don't have to worry if your copy of Word doesn't have anything in it because maybe you haven't uh, placed any sources in here yet. But the thing is, is that whenever you place a reference in Word, it will be saved on that computer for use in any other papers. In other words, once you enter it once, you've got it forever. However, on the right side of this list is, it says current list. And right now you can see that it's blank and what I need to do is to create a new item or a new bibliography to go, to go in the current list. So I'm gonna click on new and what I'll do here is to make sure that the type of source that I'm entering is a book. And this particular book is written by Edwin Friedman. But to enter the author, I'm always going to come over to Edit. And click on the Edit button. And I'm going to type in, it says the last name, Friedman. The first name is Edwin. And the last name is just H and then place a period for his initial and cl click Add. So here's his name. Click OK and then you'll notice that the way Word wants to place the name is always the last name, comma, first name. So use the edit to make sure that gets in there correctly. Now the title of the book is Friedman's Fables. And we have to type the year. In this case, it's 1990. And then the city where the book was published. In this case, it is New York. And then the publisher. In this case, it is the Guilford Press. And that's it. Simply click OK. And now we have this bibliography entered you can see a sample of what it will look like later and just cl click close. Now if we need to enter that citation into a document, here I will just do RAND and give me one paragraph with say five sentences. So if I needed to enter a citation right here at the end of this first sentence, I simply place the insertion point right before the period and then click insert citation. Here's the citation I want. Place it in there. There's the book. I can right click and then edit that citation and type a page number. For instance, if it were page 123, click OK. And so now it shows that the information for this sentence comes from this source at page 123. This is the way that you enter a new source into the Manage Sources part of Microsoft Word and the way that you enter a citation into a sentence.